Hi guys, it is Lady Otaku and today I'm going to be doing a non-spoiler review for The Little Mermaid, the live action 2023 film. So I just got home from the theater and I have to say that this movie was absolutely beautiful. The trailers and the ad campaigns just did not do this film justice. I would say after watching the trailers, I was very underwhelmed and just really, I just really had my fingers crossed that the movie itself would be a lot different. And thankfully it was. This movie was very bright, very vibrant with colors. And it was just overall just visually appealing. There were also some darker tones to this movie that I was not expecting, but I highly appreciate it. But I don't know about the younger kids, how they felt watching it. I feel like they might be a little bit disturbed, but I mean, I'm a huge horror fan, so I loved it. I was very happy to see that this movie did not follow the original beat for beat and that they made it their own. And they also added three new songs to this movie. Uh, there was one song uh, that was Ariel's when she was on land. And then Eric had a song. And also we had Scuttle and Sebastian doing a little rap, which I thought was really neat. So I think that all of the actors did a great job in this film. I want to start off with Halle Bailey. I think that she was the perfect fit for Ariel in this. She's very beautiful and she has a fantastic voice. I, every time she sung, I just wanted to hear more. And then we have Jonah Howard King. Um, sorry if I'm pronouncing his name wrong, but he plays Eric. I thought that he did a great job as Eric. I thought he himself was beautiful as well. And I also really liked his voice. He had one singing number. And I also really liked Jenny McCartney. I thought that she was a perfect fit for Ursula. She really made that role her own with, um, I feel like it might have even been some improv there with her. Um, she did a fantastic job and never knew that she could sing, but she can. And then we have Javier Barden, who played Triton. That was Ariel's dad. I thought that he did a fantastic job. Um, I found him very intimidating. Like he played the role of a overbearing father very, very well. Like I was intimidated. <laughs> I can't imagine how Ariel felt. Um, and then we have Scuttle. I immediately knew that that was the voice of Aquafina. I didn't know beforehand, but as soon as I heard, I was like, that is Aquafina. And it was. I thought that she did a fantastic job. I love her so much. I think she's hilarious. And she just always brings this energy to whatever role she's playing. And I just, I just love it. And then we have David Diggs, who played the voice of Sebastian. I didn't know how I was going to feel about Sebastian just because of seeing the footage uh, from the trailers of him and everything. I was just wasn't really feeling it. But as the movie went on, I began to love his character that he played. I think he did a fantastic job as well. And then we have Jacob Tremblay, who played Flounder. I think that he did a fantastic job and he reminded me a lot of the Flounder from the original animated film. Um, the only people who I wish would have had more screen time was Ariel's sisters. I feel like they gave these characters, you know, um, quite a bit of personality and depth behind the scenes like writing these characters out but they really did not do much at all in the film and so I was I was really curious to see what they were going to do but maybe they'll be more in The Little Mermaid 2 if they were to make that I don't know but overall I think that this was a really great rendition of The Little Mermaid and I hope that you guys go and see it um, I don't think that you'll be disappointed um, so comment down below let me know if you plan on seeing this movie and what you're most excited for thank you for watching this and i'll see you guys in my next video